Hey, welcome back, beautiful Libras. Thank you for joining me here. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you so much for your generosity, each and every one of you. It's truly appreciated. Let's go, Libra. Whoa. Trust. Taking your power back. Breaking free. And reaching your eternal self. Listening to your eternal self. You're breaking free. Taking your power back. It's that simple. Trusting yourself in the divine. Something is beyond redemption. Something that somebody did you, they cannot take back. It's beyond redemption. You're taking your power back. Somebody's gone too far. Let's go. Libra. Hmm. Let's go, Libra. Keep what is sacred near to you, for it is only to be shared when you are ready. Winter woodlands. Take time to honor what you feel. Self-compassion is the healing balm to your desires. I am here, present, and ready to answer the call. Hear my beating roar come back home to me. So it's like you're going back, reclaiming your power, finding your and listening to your eternal self, breaking free, longing for wake up, dear one, from the slumber of your mind and comfort in. The truth is seeking those ready to acknowledge it. And you're ready. Closing your eyes to the truths of reality will only connect you with illusions. So maybe, you know, you didn't want to see something about someone. Maybe you didn't want to admit something about someone and it was only keeping you from your calling. It was like you had to take your power back. Even though you didn't want to admit something, even though you did not want to see something about someone else, it is beyond redemption. It's like you had to take your power back, even though you didn't want to believe this or see this about someone you care about. You've had to. You had a personal guide. It's like... To do with connections, thought vibrations, signature signals. It's like your kinship, your group, finding, you know, joy, blessings, and trusting your intuition, nature spirits, the four elements guiding you. So it's like you were longing for something. It's like you were longing for something or someone, but someone got entangled in emotional influences. It's beyond redemption. You've had to surrender someone in order to grow. Adversity, worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. This is, you know, we all have pride. We all want to believe things that we want to believe in people. We want to believe in, you know, people not doing certain things to us. But somebody was under the influence, emotional influences of others. And it's like, you had to take your power back. You didn't want to believe this. You didn't want to see this. But it was real. There's no coming back from this. It's like, 
relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good, not those who do not. You've had to end a situation. You have. The truth. You've had to sever relationships. Empress energy. It's not going to be no option. <laughs> I've had to. Some kind of toxic karmic relationships. I, I mean. Somebody did, did not want to see this about someone. Did not want to see this is denial. I don't want to see this. Um, I've had to take my power back. I have had to. Worry ain't going to change anything. It is what it is. Somebody was under the influence here of other people. You had no choice but to see the truth. This is cutting away which no longer serves you. You could be on a new beginning because this person broke your heart. It's like they could have been influenced by sexual influences. It was keeping you stuck even though you wished Deeply, you tried to heal a situation. Uh, you've had to take your power back. Something was an illusion. Causing adversity, causing fear, causing doubt. It's like too much here. Uh, it's inevitable. It's beyond redemption. Somebody cannot come back and heal from what they have done to you. This is like irreparable damage. I'm not saying that things cannot be repaired, but at the time of this situation, it is beyond redemption, beyond salvaging. The hurt was too deep. You want joy, you want peace, you want happiness, you want growth. This person could have just abandoned you this is instability. You want something secure. You want something on a solid foundation. And I don't think that this person can come back from what they did. Breadcrumbing you, juggling you, you know, it's like... It's their path. Let them live it. You've been divinely guided. You tried to you tried to guide someone. You tried to. You've done the best that you can do. You've had to move forward out of dignity and honor and respect. You had to walk away from a situation. You had to. Too much selfishness and too much betrayal here. It's even though there's pride and ego here, someone may have had to suffer like an ego death to learn a lesson. It's you had no choice but to take your power back. And bring yourself into balance. You got to look at your own happiness. And you got to look at your own self here. You're not going to be played by nobody. You have too much self-respect. You have too much dignity. To be played by anybody. 
even though you wanted to believe this person loved you, this is emotional manipulation for love. Like, hidden motives. Like, somebody was emotionally manipulative. And it's like, no wonder. Someone is sitting here jealous and envious or acting like they didn't even care. It could be some lover who is cheating, you know what I mean? Turned their back on you, but refusing to surrender something. Now trust, trust is an issue here. It's almost like even though there are regrets here, even though there is grief and regret, it's like they regret this breakup or the separation but it was keeping you stuck worry isn't going to change the outcome so as much as you worried it was not going to change the outcome you had no choice but to set up boundaries here look this person I don't know. It's redemption. I, you know what I mean? You put all the work into a situation that you could possibly put the work into. This is like... You had to trust your own destiny. You had to trust your own intuition here. You had... To, look... This was something that was hard for you to do. This is nothing that came easy to you. You did not make this decision lightly. You didn't even want to believe that this was the truth. And I think that you've changed. I think that, I think you've changed. This person has hurt you too deeply to redeem themselves. It's beyond redemption. Their hurt was too great. Whatever they did feels to you that it was too great. The pain, the betrayal, the hurt, it's beyond redemption. You had to trust your own intuition. the wheel it's too late to change the past and worrying about it is not going to change the outcome what's done is done you've had to renew yourself you've had to heal from a relationship. This is you. Balance. You've taken everyone's input into consideration. You tried to find a greater solution. Wonderful news is on the way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. It's like this person was indecisive.
trying to please others. You could be getting an increase in money here or a windfall of money. A very successful project. It's saying your relationship can be healed. But this person is unemotional. Or this is about getting advice from someone other than people you're emotionally involved with. Getting an unbiased person involved. This could be a resolution. But you're going to have to go to someone who's unbiased. Is not emotionally involved, not emotionally invested in this situation. Like, if you are to heal the relationship, you cannot go to family, you cannot go to friends, or anyone else who has any emotional involvement in this that is emotionally detached from this situation. A professional it could be a therapist, it could be a counselor, it could be anyone of a professional nature. This could be therapy. You've got happy news about your career. Well thought out plans that go perfectly. Don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. Worry is not going to change the outcome. Manage your resources wisely. Because your plans will work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, gratitude for the blessings of life. So someone may be suggesting counseling. Somebody may be suggesting. But don't go to those who has emotional influences in your decisions or this person did involve someone who emotionally influenced them into making a decision an unwise choice they should have gone to someone who has knowledge in an expertise opinion who does not have any emotional involvement in the situation. This is not a time to consult with friends and family. This is about seeking out professional assistance. If it's to do with money, then go to the money people who have no emotional influence in the situation. This could be therapy. A relationship can be healed. But you're going to have to consult with someone who doesn't have an emotional investment in it. Not a friend. Not a family. Someone thinks it's beyond fixing. Beyond redemption. And Spirit is saying it can be fixed. But if someone is busy pleasing people, other people all the time, and they're emotionally unavailable, there's no point in fixing something. 
if they're so easily influenced by others, they need professional assistance. Some of them does. I'm sorry. They're too, they go along with the crowd. They go along with what everyone else tells them to go along with. Friends. Yeah. Well, in order to make this relationship work, they're going to have to surrender their friend groups and being so damned easily influenced by other people. They're a people pleaser. This is someone who goes around with, you know, uh, trying to people please all the time. And worry isn't going to change the situation. If your relationship is not a priority, then there's nothing to fix. If they can't put the relationship as a priority, there is no point fixing something just in order to repeat a cycle. This person is going to need professional help, professional assistance to change their behaviors, to change the way that they are. It's nothing that you can do about it. You cannot make that person change. They need professional help. They care more about what other people think than what you think. And that is beyond redemption. How can you fix something if this person is always worrying about what other people think all the time, trying to please other people all the time? It, it, it's beyond redemption. So you can try and work it out and you can try and fix something, but as long as this person is not willing to recognize their own behaviors, there's nothing that can be done. And they're in denial. Yep, it's repairable if they want to see the truth. And if they do not want to see the truth, it is beyond redemption. It's that simple. You've got to make your relationship first priority. And it, they can't because they're easily influenced by other people. So unless they're willing to get help with that, then they go to other people for advice. They go to friends and family for advice instead of going to the people who are experts in the field. I mean... You're too authentic. You're too real. And you're looking at a new beginning. You could be too real, too authentic for this person. And which is why some of their friends or their family don't like you because you speak the truth. Because you are authentic. And they sway this person like back and forth. They sway their opinion. Take care.